Varholm in his favourite lane, the Olympic champion, the world record holder, the two-time world champion, Alison de Santos, the fastest man in the world this year. A massive roar from the crowd. Watch for a quick start from Carsten Varholm, and he's already up on Happio. Benjamin's going a little steadier here. The three favourites pretty level at the moment, but Master going well. When will the move come from Rai Benjamin? He's close enough to challenge here. Coming round the top bend. Farham and De Santos. Now Benjamin beginning to move on the inside. All three medalists from Tokyo. Farham's going backwards. Benjamin's coming through. De Santos has the belief. He has the desire. And he has the talent. So often under pressure, Varholm reigns supreme again. He has successfully regained his crown, but tonight belongs to Alison de Santos. And he has delivered again. He's one of the sport's all-time greats. He does not know how to lose a race over 400 hurdles. Take a bow, take a bow, Alison de Santos. We salute you. You are the greatest in the world in 2022, and you have beaten the best in history to do it. Brilliant by the Brazilian, brilliant. That race was awesome, and with a championship record on top of that. The crowd are going wild. Come the final, round that bend, this time he didn't have the gas, and De Santos did. You've got to be so pleased for Alison De Santos. He's worked tirelessly since finishing third in Tokyo and he richly, richly deserves his moment in the spotlight. Tonight, it is his turn to shine and how he will soak up the applause and the plaudits. Silver again for Benjamin. There, De Santos's race disintegrated. He was brilliant last year, but he's had those knee problems. That was the moment you thought Benjamin might strike, but in actual fact, it was McMaster who was finishing quickest of everyone else. But Warholm, just a trooper. He just, he is a warrior, that guy who just will not give up. He had the long stride the last couple of hurdles as well. He wasn't in great position. There he goes. I am so pleased for Alison De Santos. I, I love them all. I, I, I think what Benjamin and De Santos and Warholm did last year elevated athletics to a higher plane. Exactly but you've got to admire the way he's attacked everything this season. You can even see how De Santos was very still composed, armed, and he was attacking the hurdles, and Karsten Warholm was going backwards based off of, like, fitness. I just think he couldn't take those three rounds. 26, 46, 29. That it, was brilliant from De Santos. I mean, he was trying. He was trying. Warholm was trying. He got off balance on that seventh, eighth hurdle. And he couldn't, he just couldn't hang anymore.